Five things you should do before you buy a home. Five things plus one. Buying a home can be a stressful and confusing time for many home buyers, but it does not have to be. I'm going to share five simple things plus one you should do before you buy a home. One of the first things you should do when you're considering buying a home, know your credit score. Tip number one, get your credit report and scores for free. I'm going to also say maybe you want to pay for it. MyFICO.com, MyFICO.com. To get a home loan, there are several factors that come into play, but your FICO or credit score is the most important. You can check your credit report and get your scores online for free. The Fair Credit Reporting Act requires each of the nationwide credit reporting companies, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, to, to provide you with a free copy of your credit report at your request. Once every 12 months, once you have your credit report, be sure to review it and check for any errors. Tip number two. Look for errors on your credit report. Mistakes on credit reports are bigger issues than you may realize if you do find inaccuracies, and you will if you know what you're looking for. I have never, ever seen a credit report that's completely accurate. I have been I helped somebody with my first loan, their first loan, in 1983. So it goes back a few days. They have 30 days to investigate your dispute. If they find that the item in question is inaccurate, they will correct it. They must correct it. Nothing has to be on your credit report. But everything that is on your credit report must be complete, accurate, and verifiable. Tip number three, improve your score before applying. A few points a few points difference in your credit score can be the difference in whether you qualify for a home loan or not. There are a few things you can do to increase your scores. First, pay down the balances on your credit cards. Your credit utilization ratio is your credit limit divided by your card balance. The ratio accounts for 30% of your overall credit score. Only payment history has a bigger impact. For example, if your credit limit is ten thousand, you have a balance of six thousand. Your utilization is sixty percent, which is remarkably high. The lower your credit card balances are, the higher your credit rating will be. Some credit experts advise keeping your balances below twenty percent of your card limit. The next thing you can do to make all of your payments on time: thirty-five percent of your score is based on your payment history, so it's important to pay all your bills on time. If you're a forgetful person, you can set up auto pay with your creditors so you never miss a payment. If you're wanting to buy a home, do not apply for or open any new credit. This means to hold off on buying the new car, motor home, opening a new credit card. Do that stuff after the mortgage. Tip number four, check your savings. You need a certain amount of cash in the bank to buy a home. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, then it probably is not the ideal time for you to apply for a loan. There are more upfront costs associated with getting mortgage a mortgage loan besides the down payment. There are closing fees that you will need to pay the appraiser, lender, and title company. So you need to make sure you have enough cash on hand when you're ready to close. And one of the most important things you should do before you go out looking for a home is to get pre-approved or, in our case, pre-underwritten. Tip number five, get pre-approved. A pre-approval means you have completed a mortgage application and a mortgage lender has checked credit and verified income and assets. You'll need to submit documentation verifying your income, assets, and savings, and your lender will be able to help you through this process. Most sellers today will not even consider an offer from a buyer who has not already been pre-approved or pre-underwritten, so plan on meeting your mortgage lender before you go shopping. A lot of that can be done electronically now, so you don't even have to provide this bank statements, tax returns, pay stubs. There are certain things that are all electronics, so it makes it real easy. Buying a home is exciting. There are a few simple things you can do before you start looking that will help in the process. Thanks for that. listening to that little segment there for you. Again, if you know anybody looking to buy, sell, or borrow on real estate, ask them to give me a call. Can I count on you? And as uh, don't forget, again, the, the Home Buyer's Guide, rsrhbg.com, rsrhbg.com. That is the Borrow Smart segment brought to you by the National Institute of Financial Education.